Live from America's heartland, this is the Daily Truth Report with your host, Noah Christopher. Hey, I love that. Big voice guy bringing the excitement. And uh, I've got two guests today. We are making a roundtable out of this. This is going to be an absolute blast. We've got our returning friend, Bo Polney, up at the top. And for the very first time, so excited, Dr. Manuel Johnson. So happy to have you here, Manny. Welcome. Welcome. These are glory days. Brother Noah, thank you for allowing me on and not gloomy days. I'm excited. I love it. I love it. Well, we're, uh, this is going to be fun. We are totally live. Sometimes we record these, uh, but this is totally live and uh, we're just going to have a lot of fun with this. We should be live right now on YouTube, Rumble and Twitter. Uh, just going to gonna give a head, heads up here. We're going to stay on YouTube for just a little bit, and then you need to follow us over to Rumble because we're going to be speaking freely here. Uh, Manny has some big stuff to bring you about crypto, uh, specifically XRP. We are talking big things XRP today, so uh, everybody knows I'm a big fan, and we're, we've got Manny here with a with a big prophetic message on XRP, and uh, so and and we're also going to talk Trump. So we're going to stay on uh, YouTube for just a few minutes, and then I'm going to post a link. I need everyone to follow us over on Rumble or Twitter if you want to. Uh, keep watching. But guys, uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for making time. And uh, Bo, you kind of put this together. So thank you. You 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 know, this is an XRP house and you brought the man over to talk to XRP. So thank you, Bo. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's just every time we've done call, a podcast, you know, you're always bringing up XRP. <laughs> and, um, you know, as much as I may like or not like the coin, I just, you know, I think it's gonna have a great future. You know, it's gonna, it's definitely going to be moving and uh, it's leading the pack right now. For what just happened here and the cool part was an exciting part was um after i listened to manuel's prophecy which we're going to play today which was from april of this year how incredibly perfect that prophecy was for what's manifested and manifesting you know right in front of us here um you know now as we're here in april so you know uh, manuel is an incredible prophet god speaks through him and uh, what a blessing it is to, to have him here with us Oh, that's awesome. Hey, if you're if you're uh, watching this on YouTube, we should be live everywhere. Give us a like and, and a follow and just drop a comment. That lets us know that you're seeing this. Um, I can see the numbers. We've got people, uh, a bunch of people coming on, but give us a like, give us a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, you heard that I'm live from the heartland and, and I think Bo is clearly in the mountains and, uh, you know, Manny's uh, somewhere. M Manny is, is it over the entire world, apparently. So let us know where you're where, where you're watching from and uh and and that'll let us know you're here but i'm also going to post a little uh link right here i want you to follow us over on rumble because we're going to be speaking about some things that we're going to be just letting it all loose so uh you're going to want to get us over there in case we miss you so all right guys well uh uh Let's give it uh, just a couple more seconds, and then we're going to turn Manny loose, but we, we can't do it here on YouTube. So the link has been posted. Um, Manny, how are you, man? It's, I haven't gotten to chat with you much. Uh, it's uh, My day was already good, but it's glory days and not gloomy days uh, right, right now. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely right. Glory for the righteous and gloomy for the wicked. Saints, we are living in awesome days. It is an awesome time to be alive, an awesome time to be to be a part of God's team, to be a part of what God is doing. God has chose our generation, our generation, to show his latter glory greater than the former. So you and I are seeing this last 24 months great exposure in every area around the world and in our town, the United States of America, but it's also going to be a great disposal. Wow. So get ready for that. And what you're seeing and hap what's happening in the currency is historic, is historic. You have to understand when God does his, his, his when God moves, even a brother boy spoke this before. Amos tells us he, he talks to his what? prophets the serve his servants before he makes these moves now we may not understand exactly what's happening because prophecy is in part and it's not always the revelation it's the interpretation and many people don't understand that because many times we'll get that revelation 
And it doesn't mean that if you interpret the, uh, the interpretation of it incorrect, it doesn't mean the prophecy was wrong. It just means the interpretation wasn't correct. And so you interpret it and you pray into it and you say, Lord, wow, now I see what you're doing. Because the Lord's plan is moving forward. He's not going to stop what he's doing. He's going to go forward. So, you know, there's a lot of major scare out there about the USA, what God is doing. Has God forsaken the USA? Absolutely not. People are thinking, well, things are looking, uh, you know, are, are, are look like they're, on, they're, they're, they're crumbling. I said, no, 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 no. Everything is falling into place, not falling out of place. There's mm. a huge difference. When God, God has never stopped being in control. And I want to encourage every person that's watching, every person from every walk of life, from every part of the world, God is in control. The, our scriptures never said that the Lord retires. He doesn't retire. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's been on the throne. He's always on the throne. And that is his position. And he's controlling not just the earth, not just the USA, but he's controlling the universes of universals. You know, beyond that, he never sleeps. He's never slumbers. And he's got this. It's just that we want God's will to be done. But I'll tell you something, Brother Noah, Brother Bo. Many times we have a problem, not with God's will, but with God's way. Hmm. That's the problem because we're so used to getting things right then and there, you know, in and out. But we have to understand that our Lord that we serve, he is not a jack in a box. Mm. He's not a genie. He's the Lord Almighty. Wow. He's the Lord Almighty. His The scripture says his ways are higher. His thoughts are higher than ours. So with many times we're thinking the Lord in that level. God says, no, I'm, I'm at that level. You know, but I love it. We, and we see things at a narrow as as Americans, especially American Christians. Man, we love them, but we see we tend to see things at a narrow. No, we God sees things abroad, the bigger picture. And one of the things that I say that I love to say, when the Lord fills us with the Holy Spirit, we have to realize things. The Holy Spirit is called the Comforter, not the Comfortable. <laughs> oh, <laughs> glory to God! So He's got to shake things up. In, including us, he's got to shake things up, but he's doing it for because he's going to get the glory. We're going to get the victory, and if we just, just continue to stand and see the glory of God, we're going to see things greater. We'll go, and at the end of the day, we're going to say, "Lord, thank God we did it. You did it your way." Oh, that's a good message. I like that. Bo, go ahead. Well, you know, and the thing is, you see, God's, you know, He's the God of yesterday, today. And tomorrow, correct? And but the other side of the coin is most of the world. The sad part is most of the world doesn't know he exists. See, that's the problem. Because if you read Revelation, there's a thing called Babylon, which present day is mystery Babylon. And what has Babylon done? It's confused the world. What happened? It's it all can be stemmed back to the Garden of Eden because correct me if I'm wrong, Manuel, but when God made everything, it was all good, and man was very good. And when man was on the earth, he was the last thing God made, and then the whole world was made for God, um, for man. God made everything for man. You see, so what happened was you have to go back and study what happened. Where was the problem? Well, the problem was when evil was led onto the earth with the fruit. See, so when when Adam and Eve let Satan onto the earth, he wasn't on the earth until Adam and Eve let him on the earth. And then what did Satan do? He stole our inheritance. And so he's made us believe that the finances are bad. We're not supposed to have finances. Uh, And again, you know, it's written very clearly in the Bible. You know, when you look at a tree, with a tree is built from what the roots and so that's the foundation of everything right the roots and what does it say the love of money is the root of all evil and so what's happened was it's it's okay the finances are not the problem it's when they control you and so that's what's happened is they've taken the money 
and now they control us. Why? Well, very simple. If you have a mortgage, if you have a student loan, if you have a credit card, you're going to work every single day to pay down and pay off and working towards paying a debt. This is crystal important. That was created out of thin air. Mm. It has no value. They create it out of thin air. It's not attached to gold. And so Satan has deceived us because he's the great deceiver. Did you read John 10, 10, right? What does it say? The um, evil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But I, meaning Jesus, comes to give you, come to give you life, life more abundantly. I'm going to repeat, abundantly. You see, so what's happened is, I'm going to read this one line here. Mystery Babylon, who exists right now, who what is nothing but an extension of what happened at the Garden of Eden when they stole our inheritance. So Mystery Babylon, which goes all the way back to the Garden of Eden, only exists because they have the ability to create money from nothing. Mm. They have convinced the world their money has value. And this unlimited money supply, which they have, has allowed them to buy and pay off anybody and everyone to hide secrets and to create war. So we live in a system which is flat out evil. And a better word even is, equal word is corrupt. And so that is the world we live in. And so why, so let's get back to the finances. Why do they want not want gold or silver to have value? Why do they not want cryptocurrencies to have value? Why do they not want XRP or any cryptocurrency for that matter to have value. It's very simple because it's not their system that they can easily control. Because right now, if Bitcoin exploded to 100,000 or a million, the point is they don't have complete control of it yet. Because the only way they really can control the cryptocurrencies is by controlling flat or completely the blockchain or blockchain and more importantly, the internet. And so if they can continue this facade, this money system creating out of thin air, if they can continue this for another year, for another 10 years or 100 years for that matter, they will and they would. Why? Because they want to enslave and continue to enslave humanity, period. And what, there's one thing that stands in their way, God. If God intervenes and destroys Mystery Babylon's money, it's game over. And that's why we're here today. We're going to talk about the finances. Yeah, we're talking finances and uh, I want to give a shout out to all the comments that I'm seeing on all the different platforms. Hello to uh, British Columbia, Canada. Hello to South Carolina. Hello to Ohio. We've got a bunch of others. And uh, I see I see someone named XRP Lee is here in the chat. So uh, XRP Lee, I think you're in the right place today. Uh, you're going to enjoy this one. Um, so let, let me set the stage. So we're talking about money. We're talking about finances. None of us are financial advisors. We, uh, we just uh, see what we see and we tell you about it. And uh, but we're talking we're talking the financial system. Bo just laid it out perfectly. Manny has a big word on XRP and and you're going to if you know about XRP, you're going to love it. If you don't know, this is going to be really eye opening for you. But but let's set the stage, guys, for anybody that doesn't know, um, there was a nearly three year long lawsuit that came to an end last week with a, or at least a summary judgment on the key part. And it was a big win to ripple the company and XRP, the token big win and that that token had been down 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 for a long time but there'd been one guy and, and going back i think probably the first time i heard you manny was 2021 maybe 2020 and you were saying uh you saw a, a glimpse of the future god gave you a, a a snapshot into the future and you saw xrp uh doing very well so i that is my memory of you i remember watching you say that and by the way, someone asked, is this live today, Tuesday, July 18th? We are live. It's 1.30 p.m. Central Time on July 18th, Tuesday. This is live, live, live. So drop us a comment if you want. But Manny, I remember watching you uh, say that. Now the lawsuit's over. It was a big, big win for Ripple and XRP. So that's that's the stage from last week. And I think what we have to do right now, I'm going to drop off uh, our YouTube channels here. So if you're on YouTube, uh, follow us over on Rumble. Just search for the Daily Truth Report. We're live over there. Come over there because we are dropping off YouTube. Goodbye, YouTube. We'll see you over there. See you over on Rumble.